Hi and welcome to this week's Atara. In this week's Atara, Pashas Teruma, we read about many of the different vessels that were created for the tabernacle that was in the desert and then later on in the land of Israel until we created the first temple, the first base Amigdash. One of those is known as the Shulchan, is known as the table. And this table had different parts to it. And one of the parts of this table was that there was a frame around the actual table. And on top of that frame, you had what was known as a zer. A zer was a crown. And there was a crown on top of that frame that was part of the intricacies and part of the beautiful work on the shulchan. But what's the deeper meaning behind it? And Rav Moshe Feinstein says a beautiful idea, which I think is very important and pertinent to our lives. The idea is as follows. A misgeres is a frame. And a frame also is symbolic of a framework. And a zer is a crown. And there are three different vessels within the Mishkan that had crowns. And one of, one, one of those was a shulchan, which had the symbolism of what's known as keser malchus, the crown of royalty, the crown of wealth. And the idea here being the following. When you have a wealthy individual, when you have money, you need to give that money a framework. And if you will not give the money a framework, then the money in and of itself might not be a blessing. The money could turn out to be a curse. It's only when you take that money, give it a framework, give it a place where it belongs, and then work with it that way, that that amount of money, the copious amount of money, actually starts becoming something important, something that can be used to benefit yourself, to benefit other people, and to benefit society. And it's true with so many things that if you don't have a framework of reference for them, you won't be able to do anything with it. Whether it's wisdom, whether it is strength, whether it is money, whether it's beauty, any of these things that are wonderful gifts from God are only real gifts if you have a framework within which you can use them and use them cleverly and use them correctly. So find the framework necessary for those gifts that you have and make sure you use them correctly. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.